This is a player's handbook. D&D &D. 5. It's just thick. Okay. This thick. This is Roll for the Galaxy. It's a board game. It also is quite big. However, it's rule set. If we can get the thing open. Ah, here we are. Here's its rule set. Roll, Roll for the galaxy. Look how thin it is. Look. I think it's only eight pages. Now, both those games are rather attractively presented. They've got nice bright colours. They look fairly cool. One, however, is eight pages. The rules are eight pages long. And the game promises to be one and done in an hour tops. 45 minutes if you know what you're doing. Day and day is 300 pages. And as we all know, you play d d over a matter of weeks. Years. Or, well, you're completely bad like me, decades. And the question I often get is, do I have to learn all these rules? Do I have to know all these rules to play? That is the number one question from Joe Public when I introduce him to, or her, to either a board game or a role-playing game. They go, do I have to learn all these rules? Roll for the Galaxy, Happy Fun Dice Game, has eight pages of rules. I can explain that in five minutes. D&D, or any game I'm likely to introduce to someone, has 300 pages of dense, confusing construction rules. Now I know there are one-page RPGs, and there are RPGs which are condensed into six pages. Yes, I know about them. You probably know about them. But Joe and Jane Public do not know about them. They're never going to sit down and think, you know, Yahtzee's a bit dull. Or, I'm sick of Game of Thrones. Let's try playing a game with a lot of blood and death and gore in it. And trot off to a game store. Then I'm going to pick up Apocalypse World. I'm going to pick up D&D. Realistically speaking. Or they're going to pick a board game. If the local guy demonstrates the games, one game looks like this. Kadonk. Thud. The rules for the other game look like this. Which one do you think Joe Jane Public pick up to play? And now they might enjoy. They might enjoy or not enjoy either game. They've played about the same amount. Both games cost the same amount. But one's infinitely easier to learn. The other one, not so much. You've got to get into it. There's a lot of weird arcana. It's bizarre and baroque. And comes with a vast amount of history. If they do enjoy d d then they might start playing one of those simpler games. One of those edgier games. Something you can download from RPG. One's a drive through RPG and all those other places. Or find some weird indie game site. Or get someone who's in, this, who's in the scene recommend them a, a cool different game but they're going to get past that first block of the weighty tomb if they enjoy the board game they're likely to just buy another board game and then buy another board game and another and another and that's why board games are doing so well in my opinion ciao